All right, everyone. Introducing Shane's new shoes. I need your opinion. As you can see, I am wearing two different pairs of shoes. Yeah. I purchased them. I don't know if I will be keeping both of them. Uh huh. I would like you to let me know which pair you like more. I have my opinion. Hannah has her opinion. I wonder what Bef my opinion is. Before we tell you ours, please let us know in the comments which one do you like more for me to keep and to cherish for the rest of time. Wow, this is high stakes. Hannah? Have you made your decision yet, everyone? What is your vote? I really, I love these. <laughs> I love them. I'm going to throw you a curveball because those are also my preferred Wow. look I right mean, now. these are more universal. That's a very specific... I bought them yeah, online. Cool look. Yeah, I bought them online and the colors were hard to assess. And the yellow is more aggressive than I intended it. Yeah. But I do like them. It's so, like highlighter yellow. But let, it's cool. Let me know what you think. This is not what the video is about today. No, this is it. We're done with the shoes now. <laughs> Welcome back. We can move on. So then, I think you should just do the whole episode right there. I know, I'm starting to I'm sweating. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Drum Bag. Hello, hello, welcome to the show, welcome to the show, welcome to the show, it's time to talk about our lives. We are back, and with the power of movie magic, we are in a different location. It's not movie magic at all, we literally just walked through the house. Someone's working in our house in that area, and yeah. we thought maybe you would want the sound of a vacuum, mm. kind of underscoring yeah, everything drills, we said. Yeah, different power tools. Hammering. Wait. There was a hair. It was bothering me. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we are like monkeys. He <laughs> was picking things off of It me. was just a hair and I was looking at you and then I was like, oh, there's a hair right there. Oh, like, tell them about all the buzz that you found in your hair today. Shane, I swear to God, there was a gnat that flew into my hair and Shane was like, Something's in your hair. And I was like, oh my God, it's a gnat. Like there was just a gnat that flew into my hair. And then Shane, for the rest of like the hour, was making jokes about how my wife pulls dead bugs out of her hair. Oh, first right. of all, it wasn't even dead. Is that what my voice sounds like to yeah. you? Yeah. You over and over again being like, huh, 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 dead bugs in your hair. It's only funny because in the summer and like early fall months, Hannah doesn't shower much at all. And bugs seem to congregate in her hair deep in the scalp. And <laughs> God, you know, what is wrong with you? When they actually get out and they're on like the tips and you <laughs> see them, it's a little bit funny. I mean, we know they're near the base. You should write a children's book or something, you know. My dirty, Your creativity my, is so unmatched. My dirty, dirty life. Yeah. Uh, he's lying, everybody. It doesn't sound like I'm a good, freshly washed. It's not a good name for a children's book. <laughs> No, it's not. All right, this is Monday Drum Bag, the series where we answer all of your most burning questions. New episodes come out every Monday. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's an improvised line. I'm changing things up wow. for the, the new season. Oh. It's a season of change. Oh, okay. It's where, October. Where do we get those questions? We get those questions from the comment sections of the Monday Grub Bag videos, so feel free to leave a question and maybe we'll answer it next week. I have a great time reading through every comment to like uh -huh. pick out the best questions. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And deleting the people that are being rude. <laughs> Hi, block from the channel. <laughs> oh boy. All right, should we begin? Let's begin now that we're like 15 minutes into the video. Yeah, let's keep going. Question for Shane. In some of your videos, you've referenced getting spinal fusion surgery when you were younger, and I was wondering what the most likely outcome would have been if you hadn't had the surgery. Most likely outcome is that I would be dead. Oh, Moving I on. thought maybe you would have just curved further and further until you made a perfect circle. I wish. I should have argued with the doctors a little bit more. Like, would I make it? You were seven. To a circle? <laughs> <laughs> Doc, I know that this is ill-advised, but I would like to become the first human circle. Wow, it's beautiful. No, my scoliosis was so bad that my spine was basically collapsing my right lung, and had we allowed that to go unresolved, my lung would have collapsed, and I don't think you really can thrive with only one lung. 
And Maybe you can. Alive. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, it's best to avoid that, I guess. But even at the age of seven, I understood that like I needed to have it or a very bad day was going to happen to me. Mm. So I probably wouldn't be here. Yay, spinal fusion. Yay. Hold on, I just want to get this other hair. Okay. I'm leaving that in. No. <laughs> if I edit this video, I'm leaving. She's a monkey. <laughs> Okay, yes, next I will do your hair later. You gotta get the bugs out of my hair. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing about your bodies that commenters have gotten hyper focused on? Having watched for a while now, I know Shane's been asked about probably every area. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, I mean, I'll just be brief. I was in my hand, I was a good answer. But my every aspect of my body has been heavily commented on. I get that. Some are more curious, some are more rude. And so I won't like go into all the different areas of my body that people comment on, as you can imagine. Uh, but I think one that sticks out as kind of weird and funny is that so many people don't realize that these black straps that I am wearing are straps and not a vest. And I know that's not my body, but it's a part of my appearance. Mm. And all the time, People are like, why does he wear like a black vest in every outfit? And I, I get it. It does kind of look like. But it's like a, a vest. reverse vest. Like it's <laughs> not know. anywhere but like. Wouldn't it cover? Like, isn't the point of I a know. vest? But so many people have yeah. mistook it for like a clothing choice. It looks like a police vest, like you see in <laughs> on like TV shows. You know, or like a bulletproof. Yeah, vest. like because it's I don't. That's no, funny. these are straps that hold me in my yeah. wheelchair. They're not a style thing. Not a fashion statement. All right. You should put like a fashionable different Actually, covers. You could like Velcro different outfit covers on. Yeah, plaid yeah. for fall. If you want to make me that, I will put them on. <laughs> Would you though? <laughs> not probably I feel like not. you wouldn't. <laughs> All right, where's your body? Oh, part? mine. Huh? Um, obviously, both of us get scrutinized a lot, but I think. Something that I still think about every once in a while, like it kind of tickles me. And I remember I put it in my Instagram story when it first happened. It was a comment from someone being like, why is her Adam's apple visible? And <laughs> someone, like there were a bunch of responses, but someone <laughs> responded and was like, it's because she has very little subcutaneous fat on her neck and therefore you can see it. And I was like, oh my God, that is this the creepiest thing. Like these random people that I don't know are writing like very in detail and other people were responding being like, yes, I believe that's accurate. That it's, is so weird. It's nice to know that someone somewhere spent a few minutes thinking about the levels of subcutaneous fat yeah. in your neck. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, I guess they're right. It's That's why you can see my Adam's apple. Can you see everyone's Adam's apple? No. Isn't that I, normal? No, I also, honestly, they don't know, but it's also because I... I um, sit really hunched with my neck sticking out in videos, but uh, that's nice that they didn't think that. Like if I turned to the side, you'd be like, oh, that's why we can see your Adam's apple. I hope that you stayed there long <laughs> enough for that to be the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, and also, maybe you need a spinal fusion. Yeah, I mean, or a neck fusion to like keep my head in a correct that'd be, line. That'd be cute, a couple that, that would be they cute. both have spinal fusions. No, but like you have the spine and I have the neck and together we create a full fusion. <laughs> okay, next question. Have either of you ever had a paranormal uh, experience? Halloween Monday grub bag? Oh, Ooh. getting into smoothie season. I'm so excited. Do you want to go first? Do you have one? Oh, um, <laughs> yes, I was young. And so this is kind of like from what my parents have told me, but I do remember this and I was terrified of this house. I lived in a house in Connecticut um, from when I was uh, eight to like 13. What parts of Connecticut? I know someone's in the ass. Hamden. Hamden. Right okay. near New Haven, like on the Hamden New Haven line. And uh, it was an old house. I don't remember exactly when it was built, but it was like 1902 or something. It was pretty old. Super cool. Yeah. And uh, super haunted. Part. I was terrified <laughs> of this house. I would not go upstairs alone. Like I just hated this house. I love. I mean, I loved the house, but I would not go upstairs alone ever. And there was a third floor to this house that had a creepy little staircase leading to it, like a back staircase. And we never really used it because it wasn't in fantastic condition, this attic. Like it had just been yeah. sitting there. Uh, and so no one was ever really up there, but 
every night my parents i would hear like creepy things i hated this house i would call for my parents every night whatever <laughs> but my parents their room was right by the staircase like the staircase almost came from their room and they were like we could hear like we could ask them about this they were like we could hear people walking around upstairs we could hear like murmuring voices and they heard what sounded like like music like someone playing music when they told me about like it, a party they told me it sounded like a dinner party yeah like a very hush yeah hush dinner, dinner party. party like most nights and it was not our neighbors like it was only coming from that's true the attic. Right? isn't that creepy and my parents are not like they're not like ghosty <laughs> people this isn't their thing um but yeah they they both are like yeah we both heard it like together and that's super weird yeah i don't really believe in like paranormal stuff i'm not against it but i just don't have any strong evidence the only experience i've ever had where i was like that was really weird and i can't explain it properly was it was lolly new hannah um, were you there for this moment? No, I can't remember. I wasn't there. Yeah, I think I just told you about it. Um, in the basement of my parents' house, I had a finished little bedroom, living room type deal. And... And it was newly finished. Yeah, you know, I, I had done it. You yeah. finished it while I knew you. Yeah. Um, and so my brother and our friend Pat, we would hang out down there and watch sports and stuff like that. And the basement made normal basement noises that like were creepy. And so as a kind of a joke, we named the basement ghost Petunia. Just as like a funny, like we'd hear a bang out in the other room and we'd be like, oh, there's Petunia. And one day we were watching TV and it went off. The TV turned off by itself. And the three of us were all there. We were like, that's weird, Petunia, ha ha ha. And so we turned it back on, and I, trying to like keep the joke going, said, all right, Petunia, if you are in here, turn the TV off again. And it went off. Like, no sooner had I finished that. The remote was on the table, like we were all very aware that it was not one of us doing it. TV went off again, so we were like, weird. But the TV must be like acting up, right? Turn it back on, and I said, all right, I'll do it again, but not for a while. So we, we watch TV again, it's not happening. After maybe an hour, I said, all right, everyone. It's the big P moment. Petunia, if you're in the room, turn the TV off. And it went off, and we, we left. <laughs> we, we went outside, we were like, nope, we're done. That is terrifying. But. Petunia may have turned that TV off. That's pretty creepy. Yeah. Hmm. Haha, -ha, happy Halloween. Whoa, nice save. Hannah just tried to throw my phone on the floor. I dropped your phone and then I caught it in the air. I have really good reflexes, which is something that you would not suspect. Do you? Yes, I, Shane. Come on, give me credit. I, you I catch things in midair so well. All I'm saying is that you, we also have a nickname for you. I'm clumsy. Called Bumbles. Yes, I'm very clumsy, but I have extremely fast reflexes because I was a swimmer. You should, yeah. And like true. we would train that. Yeah. And so I. You grab that phone right, right out, out of midair. Right out of midair. I catch anything out of midair. Thank you. Petunia, <laughs> if you're in the room. <laughs> I noticed that Hannah wears long sleeves and heavier shirts. When Shane has short sleeve t-shirts on. Oh, like right now. Hmm. Exhibit A. Do you wrestle over the thermostat? Yeah. Yes, but not in the way that you would expect. I prefer to keep the house at a reasonable temperature and put on a sweater. Shane likes to wear a t-shirt and crank the thermostat up and sweat me out. I don't like to wear long sleeves, but I like to be warm. Yeah. So. We're different in our, our desires for the temperature. And like at night... I don't mind if it's a little bit warm in the room, yeah. and I just sleep with no blankets on. Hannah likes it to be negative 50 and like 100 blankets. I feel like a lot of people are going to be like agreeing with me. I, I think so. I know that... That sleeping in a hot room with no blankets on is not ideal. Hot room, fan on, and no blankets. You don't like a fan on. If yeah, I do. If the breeze touches your head, you will make me turn it off. If it's forced air... Directed, directed at my head. No, a fan makes a, a large, you know. 
We have our issues, as you can see. We have our, our little quirks. We disagree about... Like little fan type things. If the fan blows too directly. I like a ceiling fan, yeah. not a standing fan mm -hmm. that can aim directly at your face. Hate that. All right, moving on. Okay. Shane, have you ever been to the hospital due to an airway infection or other illness? Do you have, do you still have some specific memories about it? Yeah, haunted memories. Uh, Speaking of Halloween. Wow. Uh, I was hospitalized a decent amount for pneumonia when I was a little kid. And that was because of my scoliosis that was messing up my lungs. So I, I don't remember a lot of that very well other than like the trauma of a hospital. Um, hated hospitals growing up. Like in my teen years, I resisted them at any cost. I would be sick as a dog and I'd be like, nope, I'm not going to the hospital, don't take me there. Uh, but I did get pneumonia in 11th grade, I believe, and it ended up needing to be, or I ended up needing to be hospitalized. All I remember from that is that the process of getting an IV in my arm oh. took two hours and a dozen sticks in both arms. I was yelling. Oh my god. Like, like yelling in pain. Yeah. That's all I remember. So, yeah. Ugh. Not a lot, you know, as an adult, but... Yeah, I mean, never since I've known Shane. Yeah, knock on wood somewhere. Yeah, knock on wood, but, uh... Even when you would do like spinraza injections, they would always say he needs an IV to I go in. No. And every time she would be like, I deny having, I will not have an IV. And they would always be like, okay, like. They'd be like, we can give you some stuff to like yep. make you feel more comfortable while we do this. I think you had a special note in your file from the like, nope. neurologist that was like, he does not need an IV because Shane would not do it. I was like, give me 10 pills, but I will not take an IV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was our Monday grub bag. That was the end. Yep. Happy spooky month, everyone. Happy spooky month. We'll be back soon. It's my favorite month. We have another video that's not a Q&A. Almost done. Yep. That will be out probably this week. Yep. All right. Goodbye. Bye.